Welcome. Before we begin the Mass, please adjust your cell phones to silent mode. Let us give praise and thanks to our Almighty God for His immense love and generous, generosity revealed to the whole of humanity in Christ. His love and generosity invites us to heed His calls to everyone to work in His vineyard and so enter in His kingdom. In this Mass, we pray for all the needs of the members of our parish family and concerns of the whole world. For the special prayers of Arnold Giao and Prima Glover. For the thanksgiving prayer of Tomas Kabahug and family. For the thanksgiving birthday prayers of Jamison and Mason Toledo, Carlin Toledo de Leon, Ferdi Aleta, Theodora Dompor, and Danielle Macario. For all our brothers and sisters who need the grace of healing, and for all those who care for them. And for our departed brothers and sisters, Teofilo and Virginia Toledo, Virginia de la Cruz Cristobal, Jesus Santos Rivera, Consortia Trinidad, Jaime Toledo, Armando Bernal, Noel Peñaflor Quicho, Julita Dompor, Fidela Macapaz, Margarita Mundo, Anasita Lorente, and Gracia B. Lu, Regina Sanyo, Epifania Regala, Tomas Bedania, Guliana Cruz, Estrella Leiba, and all those who have died due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Let us all rise and join in singing our entrance hymn, number 317, The God of All Grace. Happy Sunday to all. Happy Sunday, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we gather here to celebrate this Eucharistic gift, the Mass. And in celebrating, the Lord is inviting us to be with him, to spend time with him in prayer of gratitude and also of supplication that we can say to him what we need and thank him for all the blessings. He also would like us to look at the reality that he always gave us a way to come to him. And hopefully we can ask ourselves if we do always give ourselves a way to do it. 
mindful that we are in His presence, and knowing that He is full of gentleness and love, to give our all in worship, let us now call to mind our sins and ask Him for mercy and forgiveness. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbors, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him 
while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way, and the wicked his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God who is generous and forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, life is Christ, and death is gain. If I go on living in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me and I do not know which I shall choose. I am caught between the two. I long to depart this life and be with Christ, for that is far better. Yet, that I remain in the flesh is more necessary for your benefit. 
only conduct yourselves in a way worthy of the gospel of Christ. The word of the Lord. From the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, the landowner saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, You too go into my vineyard, and I will give you what is just. So they went off. And he went out again around noon and around three o'clock and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, the landowner found others standing around and said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You too go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his four men, Summon the revelers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started at five o'clock came, it received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought they would, they would receive more, but each of them also got the useful wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last ones work only one hour, and you have made them equal to us who bore the day's burden and the heat. 
He said to one of them in reply, My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? And you, are you envious because I am generous? Thus, the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Again, happy Sunday to all. If in case we are looking for something hard to understand and accept in the Holy Bible, I think without doubt that the gospel that we proclaim today, according to St. Matthew, can be one of them. Why? Because even the landowner mention of being that he is being generous to me it sounds that he is not just unfair and it is kind of really hard particularly in our style of life here we work for pay but the thing here is the gospel is not just about working about the invitation to work, but it is more on the idea that the landowner reflects the actions of God to all of us. That God always make a way for all of us to get involved in his vineyard. The question is, are we making always a way for him? I say this because sometimes we should not see the actions of God as just one way. It should be two ways, his action and our response. And the beauty of this is in the gospel, he went out early in the morning at nine, at noon, at three, and at five to make it possible for everyone to come and work in the vineyard. But in the matters of giving what's due for them, they were not open to what has been agreed upon at the beginning. The love of God is beyond understanding. But even it's beyond understanding, the truth is his love is great. His love is what we need. And therefore, we have to respond to him. The first reading reminds us, Prophet Isaiah, that seek the Lord when you can still find him. Because it's in the Lord we can find what we are looking for. And thus, it would be hard to understand if he can only offer what he wants for us to a certain group of people. It has to be offered 
to everyone. We know that God is for everyone. We should also be as believers of God for everyone. Now, in matters of working, God always invites us that we have to seek the kingdom. And the moment we do, then everything will just follow. I think it's good to ask ourselves, are we working for God's kingdom? And if we do, then we can be granted of the reward. And I believe we would not be complaining because we know what this reward is to be with him, not only in the future life, but here in our life. Because we truly need him in our own journey of life. Thus, in the second reading, St. Paul expressed his life in the Lord. And he feels it to be a happy life even though there are challenges. So, the invitation is on. The response is the one that God is waiting from us. Hopefully, at the end, when we get our pay, we would not complain anymore because we know what God is offering us. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made consubstantial with the Father, to whom all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. He has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism, forgiveness of sin. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Father always invites us to come to him, to work in the vineyard. And he also assures us that he listens to our prayers and needs. So let us now bring them all to him. For the Pope, our bishops, priests, deacons, religious and faithful people, that we may live out the love and mercy of God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. For those who have not yet heard God's call and those who are resisting it, that they may come to know the Lord's love and mercy. Lord, in your mercy, 
Hear our prayers. For all who bear the cross of sickness and sorrow, that they may find that peace which passes all understanding. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. For the special prayer of Arnold Giao and Prima Glover. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. For the Thanksgiving birthday prayer of Jameson and Mason Toledo, Carlene Toledo de Leon, Ferdi Aleta, Teodora Tompor, and Daniel Macario. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. For our parish family, that we may continue to support one another, to grow in faith, hope, and love, to build a welcoming faith community, and the body of Christ in this community. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. For the faithful whose work in the Lord's vineyard is done, and for the souls of all those who have died, Teofilio and Virginia Toledo, Virginia de la Cruz Cristobal, Jesus Santos Rivera, Consorcia Trinidad, Jaime Toledo, Armando Bernal, Noel Penaflor Quiucho, Julito Tompor, Fidela Mazapaz, Margarita Mundo, Anacita Laurente, Engracia B. Lu, Regina Sanyo, Efepania Regala, Thomas Pedania, Guiana Cruz, Estrella Leiva, and those who have died to COVID-19 pandemic, that they may receive the reward of all their labors. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. For our own personal intentions. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. Together we pray, Lord Jesus, to the sacrament of baptism, you give us new life and make us members of the body of the church. Grant, we pray, the stewards of gifts and blessings. We have built our permanent church, we get faith, courage, and joy. To Christ our Lord, amen. Mater Dei, pray for us. Oh. 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what we profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory, that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity, and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the, me the means of our salvation to Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and give it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Robert our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced in our life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <laughs> At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share our smile of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter out of my book, but only say the word that my soul shall be healed. Body of God's sister.
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, to Christ our Lord. Amen. Our parents prayer, Almighty Father, the body of Christ the Church is made up of people who believe in your Son, Jesus Christ, and said to his suffering, death, and resurrection. Enable us to grow in faith, hope, love, and service, that we may build a welcoming, friendly faith community, a community that is your Son's life and mission. After the life example of Mary, Mother of God, Mother Dei, to the power of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Mother Dei. To our parish family, we thank you for building our life of faith, stewardship, and sacrifice. We also thank all our friends and visitors in worshiping with us. It is our great joy to have you in this Mass. Thank you everyone for making this online Mass possible for this Sunday. And thank you for your ministry. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, glorify the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.